Okay, in this section we're going to go ahead and talk about the classes section, how to set up your classes for a show. So if you've already set up uh, your shows, um, so we're going to use a couple of examples here. We've got an aged event and a weekend show. Um, so now we're going to set up some classes for it. Uh, if this is the first time and you haven't got any classes or previous shows to copy from, um, what you're going to go ahead and do is make sure that you select the class that you want to, or the show that you want to set up. Um, if you do have an aged event or a weekend show, we suggest that you do the aged event first. Uh, that's going to be run first, so that's going to be your first order as well. Um, so go ahead and select that and click the plus sign. Now from here, it's going to go ahead and give you some options. Um, if this is set to the NCHA LAE, which that show was set for, you're going to see a drop down of uh, you know regular NCHA LAE weekend classes. So we're going to go ahead and set up the four-year-old open here. It's going to be the first class of the day. That's where you set your order for all your classes. And if you need to change those, you can come back and swap them around. If you decide to move your 2000 limit up one or whatever, um, you can do that all from here. The date range, that's automatically going to default to that show we're setting up. Uh, it's not part of a go around, so we're going to leave that unchecked. It's got your judge in there. Uh, if you need to change your cattle or your set numbers, you can do that there. Um, you're going to go ahead and add in your added money here. So we're going to make this a uh, 500 added. Uh, the entry fee for this one's going to be 150, and then we've got the 150 cattle charge, 40 office charge, seven video fee, and Equinol fee. So you can change any of those if you need to, and then it's going to come out to your total entry fee down here. So that should match whatever you, uh, you know, you've got advertised as your entry fee. Now to set up subclasses, uh, let's say you're going to offer the Senior World Tour or anything like that, which obviously for the Age Event you're not, but that's where you'll do that there, and we'll go into more later on that. So if you've got all this set up how you want it, simply select accepting entries and that's going to move this to ready to accept entry stage. Um, then you can go ahead and click save down the bottom here and it's going to pull up your class down there. So now we're going to go ahead and add another class. Same uh, deal again, we're going to add the four-year-old non-pro. It's going to be order number two. Date range, everything else is the same. Um, $500 added. And we're going to make this 150 so that's going to match, 349, um, same deal. And then just click Save, and then you can go on and do that for the rest of your classes as well. Now, to go ahead and set up your weekend classes, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, from the drop down, we're going to select the weekend show, and then we're going to go ahead and click the blue plus sign. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our first class that we're going to set up. Now we can set this to order number one even though it is our first weekend class because then it'll put it on the schedule at the same time as the four year old open. So as a rule of thumb you can either start this, if you've got you know six aged events that you're running before your weekend shows you could make this order number seven or just to make it easy you can go ahead and just start with ten. It's not going to matter, these numbers don't show up anywhere, it's just for your admin side to keep everything in order on the schedule. Um, so I'm going to select ten there. Dates are right, weekend show, not part of a go-around. Um, we're going to, you know, it's got a defaulted to 2.5. Um, we're going to make that 3 here, or you can leave it, whatever you want to do there. Um, added money, same, we're going to make it a 500 added. Entry fee, 150. And there you can see it's got all the other fees. It's got the NCHA championship fee. If you need to add any others here, you can click the plus sign. And then uh, down the bottom here, you're going to see your total entry fee. Subclasses, so because we say we are offering the Senior World Tour, um, that's where that will be, and it'll show up with an S and an SWT for Senior World Tour. You can go ahead and add in the fees for that. Um, if it's a $20 entry fee with $10 uh, entry and $10 jackpotted, you can put that in there like that. And that's all you have to do for that. Click Save when you're done. Now we're going to go ahead and add in another class. Same thing. Add in the non-pro. This is going to be order number 11. Everything else is fine there. Make that 3 for this one. 500 added. 150 entry fee. Everything else the same. It's got the Senior World Tour. Oh, and I forgot to set the other one to accepting entries. So let me show you what that does. Uh, if you forget to set it to accepting entries, it'll leave a blank right here. So what you can do is you can go back into your open now and you can set that to accepting entries and when you go, when you save that, go back to the main screen, you'll see those are your shows now accepting entries. So here's how we see all the classes 
and you notice we've got two shows and I have to click on them to see them separate. What we've uh, put in here, see this little combine button? Yeah, that's your secret little shortcut. If you select that, it's going to show all your classes for all your shows set to that day. So here we had an aged event and a weekend show. They're all going to show up together. Notice the order number over here. Um, so you can go ahead and now you can keep entering uh, classes in here however you want to. So the first time always takes the most amount of time because you have to set everything up. Uh, from here on out, if you want to create you know, multiple days or uh, create shows based on other shows that you've already ran, um, you can go in and create the show. Um, and what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to create a second LAE event. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the settings from this LAE on the 14th. And we're going to call it Equinol CHA LAE. And then we're going to make this date the 15th. The judge for this one, let's say Todd Williamson. And now what we're going to do, it's going to go ahead and create everything based off the previous show that we've done. So all those settings are already copied over. So we can go ahead and save. And now to set up the classes for that show, you can see here we've got two shows on the 14th and this is the one we just set up on the 15th. Uh, so to set up the classes, we're going to go ahead and select the 15th from the drop down. And it's already got those classes in there. So that automatically brings forward those classes um, from the previous show. And we can do that again if we want to create the, the weekend show. We're going to... One more thing to mention, uh, when creating these classes, if you accidentally create an empty class, so let's say we're going to go ahead and create a class. Um, so let's say uh, we're in here and all of a sudden we get distracted and, and we just go to get out of it to get back to, to classes. Now you'll see up here, it's created an empty class and it'll do this for entry fees or some other things as well. Uh, when you see something that's totally blank there that has nothing assigned to it, no fees, no entries, you can just double click on it. It's going to pull that screen up again and just delete that screen and that'll get rid of it from the show. And that way you've only got classes or shows or entries that actually have meaning and have something tied to them. Okay, here you can see we have all our weekend classes set up. Uh, and as I said, they can start from order number 10, 11, 12, all the way down through 21. Um, you can make those whatever you want. If you want to continue it on from there and make these 5, 6, 7, 8, you can do that. Um, let's say you want to swap a class around. Let's say you want to put the 2000 limit rider right after the 50 amps. So you'd move it up to uh, thir between 13 and 14. Um, the way to do that is go ahead and select it. Click your unlock button down the bottom. And then go ahead and put in 13.1 oh, 13 and that's going to put it right between uh, the other two classes. Go ahead and click save and now you can see the 2000 limit rider is right between there. That also changes it on the schedule. Alright, some other things to note is down here you've got a total kind of a head count of how many entries, how many cattle you've used and how many uh, entries your judges judged. So right now we have zero over here. Uh, you can see all your added monies at a quick glance right here for all the classes to spot check that. Your entry fees for each class are also shown here um, so that you can see those. As you can see, uh, the 25 Novice Horse Non Pro is missing some information. So what we're going to do is go ahead and enter that in. And then now you'll see that it's all been filled in there. So that's what, just another way to kind of check to make sure you've got all your classes set up right. Uh, once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and click Sign Up Sheets. Here's where you'll print off all your sign up sheets. Now if you want to go ahead and print these out um, for all two or three days of your show with the dates on them, you can do that ahead of time. You can include the class date and then select those. Uh, how many sheets you want per class, that can be done there. Uh, when you click Print, it's going to go ahead and pull up these PDFs with the sheets on here and it's going to have your show logo at the top and then also it's going to show the, the sponsors or your, you know, your other logos down the bottom. So here's the non-pro, amateur, so that's going to print all your sheets like that. And you can print multiple sheets per class too, so no problem with that. And then again, if you ever want to switch back to you know, just the settings for your weekend show, once you're done with the age event, you can do that. Or you can click the combine and keep them all together there um, you know, for a quick, quick glance. 
And that's it as far as uh, setting up your classes. Um, just remember when you go to change something around, once it's been set up, you might need to unclick the, the unlock button to go ahead and change something there to allow access in there because it will lock once you've set it up. Uh, it will lock and that prevents you from accidentally changing any settings in there. Thank you.